Hello, friends! Today, we will learn about crop production. This pumpkin looks fully ripe and ready to be picked up. The pumpkin is ripe when the skin and stem are hard, and it sounds hollow when you thump it. See? That farmer is cutting the crops with the help of a tractor. Don't get confused. I will explain everything about this. Crop and crop types. You're making a sandwich. This bread is made up of wheat, which is a crop. You know, the plants that are grown and harvested by farmers for profit and livelihood are known as crops. There are four categories of crops depending on the usage. Food crops. They are subsistence crops that are meant for human consumption. For example, rice, wheat, and etc. Cash crops. These are agricultural crops that are planted for the purpose of selling on the market or for export to make a profit. For example, tobacco, cotton, and etc. Plantation crops. They are grown on a large scale by an individual or a company. For example, tea, coffee, and etc. Horticultural crops. Horti means garden, and culture means art. The art of forming gardens or growing crops is called horticulture. These crops comprise mainly of fruits, vegetables, ornamental, aromatic, plantation, and medicinal plants. You are having the sandwich you had prepared with wheat bread. Mmm. Now let's learn the steps of crop production. Steps involved in crop production. Preparation of soil. The agricultural land is loosened or plowed first. During plowing, the soil is loosened, which improves the aeration. Thus after plantation, air is available for breathing and roots are easily passed through the soil. Sowing of seeds. Seeds can be sown in the nursery and then transplanted to the field, or they can be sown directly on the field. It is important to keep the soil watered so that the surface never dries out, but remains constantly moist. Addition of manure and fertilizers. Crops need different nutrients to grow well. Compost and manure are mixed with the soil to enhance its nutrient value and provide nutrition to the crops. Irrigation The supply of water to the plants is called irrigation. Water helps in the proper development of flowers, fruits, seeds, and plants. Protection from weeds Weeds are undesirable wild plants that grow along the crops on the field. They steal the nutrients, sunlight, water, and other resources from the crops, and affect their growth. Farmers manually pull out weeds by hand, or they use herbicides to get rid of the weeds. Harvesting Harvesting is the process of taking out useful parts of plants. This is done when plants have reached a certain stage where they have nutritious and edible parts. To learn all about harvesting, Watch our video on the topic. Storage. Small scale farmers use the crop for their own consumption, whereas large scale production is mostly used for marketing. There are some bacteria in the storage. The stored grains may be attacked by bacteria, fungi, and environmental factors, including moisture and temperature. Therefore, the grains must be properly treated before being stored. Let's revise the steps for crop production. Preparation of soil. Sowing of seeds. Addition of manure and fertilizers. Irrigation. Protection from weeds. Harvesting and storage. You need to remember all these. Now you know a lot about the topic. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye bye.